I'm setting myself the challenge of going from zero to $1 million in just 12 months because absolutely nobody has ever done that kind of challenge online ever before. Now, I do have a couple of basic rules that I'm going to abide by through the challenge. And the first one being, I'm going to assume that I have all of my basic needs met from my full-time gig. All right, maybe not that basic, but in all seriousness, I want to assume that I have somewhere to live. I've got my car, I've got some petrol, internet, phone, computer, all of those sort of things that I currently use in day-to-day -day life. I'm going to assume that I have all those covered. And the only other rule is any money that I do use during the challenge must come from income that I've produced starting from zero. So if I want to invest into some kind of business or develop some kind of idea, it must come from money developed during the challenge or earned during the challenge. So I'm definitely not naive enough to think that this is going to be an easy process. It's going to be super hard. And even looking at this very popular image of how to make a million dollars in one year, you'll see that you need to sell a $200 product to 5,000 people, $500 product to 2,000 people. Even if you look at subscriptions, it's 5,000 people paying $17 a month for 12 months, right up to 250 people paying around $333 a month for 12 months. It's not that simple. So needless to say, none of those are easy to do. And there is absolutely no guarantee of making sure that you earn those figures over those time periods. So I really wanna focus on building reoccurring revenue streams. So that's income from work that I've already done with minimal input into the future, uh, a bit like credit card skimming. No, no, just joking. I'm not gonna be doing any credit card skimming. So I also wanna have some passive income coming in. So I'm gonna look at taking some of the money I've earned during the challenge and investing that as wisely as I possibly can to uh, compound over time during the challenge so that when I get to that 12 month mark, I've got the best chance of reaching the million dollars. So I'm gonna have hopefully some money earning me money while I sleep as well. Because we all know all the gurus say that that's what it takes to generate true wealth. Get wealthy. So to go from zero and get up to that first $1,000, I feel like the best way that I can do that without using any money is to start flipping some of the things that I have around my house that I no longer use or don't want. Yeah, he's right, you know. And I think that's pretty good value for people to take on as advice as well, because almost everybody watching this would have something of value that they could flip and turn into a few dollars at least to start either using that money to go and buy other things to flip for more money and or use that money to start other business ventures. First things first, I'm gonna start flipping some stuff. Several days later. I managed to flip around 30% of the items I put on Facebook Marketplace and I made a total profit of $789. It's there, the Flip King's there. Yep, not quite the $1,000 I was hoping for, but it is a good start and uh, there is a couple of days left in the week. It's been about five days to sell all those things. Hopefully a few more things go before the end of the week and I'll hit that thousand. But more importantly, I've got a whole heap of cash there now to go and start a new project to start making some money. I have a plan. And I'm going to be jumping on the Airbnb bandwagon to try and make some reoccurring revenue. And uh, you know, I know that $789 isn't enough to go and buy an Airbnb property or really develop much of one. So what I have seen on Airbnb is people who are developing uh, businesses around their campus and they're renting out their camper trailers uh, or camper vans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and turn my box trailer that I already own into a camp trailer. So it's really just gonna be a small camper trailer, enough for a couple to fit in, and hopefully I can make it look really good and make it kind of a unique experience and start generating some ongoing revenue. And the best part of this plan is no one can stop me. So over the next couple of videos, you'll see me trying to convert that camper into that Airbnb experience. Uh, it is going to take a little bit of time to do, so uh, I will be chipping away at that as I go, but I'm also going to be working on other ideas uh, online as well. That's basically my background, working online. So I'm going to be working on those ideas at the same time. So I'm going to jump straight into those videos. In the next video, you'll see me trying to uh, make that dream a reality. So see you in the next one.